is back again. And I just recorded uh, the last video for you, yesterday's blog video. Um, as you recall, I, I said that I thought that the market would come back up and test that 200 moving average, 200 exponential at 1919 and three quarters, and it just it did just that. Now, as you can see, the bars have turned from red to green, and what I'm trying to do now, because I really think the market's going to be moving higher today. <clears throat> Excuse me. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to buy this market on a pullback down to that 50. Um, near that 38% retracement from today's low to high, I think we're going to get a bounce. Um, now it's just a question of, did I miss the trade? Has the market started back up again? I don't know. But what I am, look at 1917 and a quarter, I was trying to get long here. At 1914 and three quarters, right there. Market ended up trading down in 1915 and a quarter. If the market here in the next few minutes can, can continue pulling back, I would still look to get long at 14 and three quarters, looking for the high of the day to be tested again and potentially go much higher. So that's, that's where I think the market, what's going to happen. So I'm going to pause the video and see if we can get that pullback again. I don't want to chase the market. You know, I don't want to chase the market. And you've got to be patient. You've got to wait for those pullbacks. And there are going to be times where you miss a trade altogether. Even though you're right, you're waiting for the market to come back, come back to you. Uh, like in this case, I mean, look at this. We missed this trade by two ticks, and we're up literally uh, three points from where I was looking to get long at 14 and three quarters. So, again, my bias is market should continue moving higher. I'm going to pause the video and see. What All right, I am back, and as you can see, I missed that trade altogether, okay? was completely right about the direction, right, but missed the trade. Remember, we were looking for the market to pull back a bit further to 1914 and three quarters. The market went to 1915 and a quarter, and we've rallied back up to test the high of the day right in here. Again, missed it by 50 cents only, right, 50 cents, and look at that move back up to 1919 and a half. Okay, 19, 19 and a half from 15 and a quarter was looking at 14 and three quarters. That would have been, you know, four and a half, five point trade so far. Again, I still think this market moves higher, but the critical level here is being able to take out this high, right? Being able to take up 19, 19 and three quarters right in here. If we're able to successfully penetrate through that here in the next 10 minutes or so, I believe we're going to move even higher yet. I think today's down opening, we're going to see this video actually uh, a day after, right? So look at the market opened up down in here, critical level, which was a retest of the prior day's low, took it out marginally. And that level was completely rejected, and we rallied off that level. Therefore, that tells me I truly believe the market is moving higher from here. Okay, and so I def but but I thought I thought the market would react. That's why I took that first trade that was uh, a loser right in here. Okay, I thought the market would react, and we'd come back down and at least try to maybe retest this low. But I knew instantly. Once we rejected and we weren't able to move lower and we moved higher, that this market would continue moving higher. So I still think we're moving higher. I think this was a significant low today. I think we, you know we failed off the prior day's high, or low rather, and we've rallied. So I think we move higher. Look at this, right up through the high. So we've hit the 1920 and a half level. Okay, so we've broken that. And what I'm going to look to do is I'm going to look to buy it on a pullback. Okay, with stops below this last pivot low. So I'm going to pause the video again. <clears throat> All right, I am back again, and the market has finally pulled back. Okay, so we've run up to 1922 and three quarters. Right, <clears throat> that's you know that's one of the reasons why I bought it down in here, exited in here. Market continued to run. We were looking to buy this market right in here. We missed it by two ticks. Market ran up. That would have been an, a nice. Uh, Third trade of the day, right? Now the market's pulling back. We're getting close to a level which I would be looking to buy. But unfortunately, I need to leave the office and take my daughter to acting camp. Um, so I'm not able to take advantage of this, but I still think the market moves higher. 
and the market's not quite at a level where I'd be buying it anyways. I I, I would want it. Uh, I was hoping right in here the market would be able to pull back a little further than it did here before moving higher. Okay, but look, at we are getting this bounce again, so I, I still think we move higher on the day. And I'll let you go. So I, I still think this video is helpful uh, because what you've seen firsthand is not every time will you get filled, right? Sometimes you're looking for a pullback to a certain level, and sometimes you just don't get, don't get filled. So we missed this trade by 50 cents. Okay, we were looking at 1914 and three quarters market traded down to 1915 and a quarter and rallied up real nicely, like seven points, right? Made a new high, and we're coming down again. Again, I believe this area is a buy area. And again, I was looking for it to come down a little quicker so I could get in, but again, it missed me here, and we are we are moving back up again. So off to take my daughter to acting camp today. And I will be back with you tomorrow, so hopefully this uh, video helps, as I hope every day helps. And uh, have a profitable day, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye for now.